Yeah, right. I'm at this uh, little holiday uh, letting here down on the south coast of England in Dorset. And uh, yeah, indeed, I've been out today with some mesh core devices and, uh, well, one, and uh, got a few messages back to base here. Unfortunately, uh, my microphone was out of charge, so I didn't manage to record any of it. So uh, anyway, what I'll do, I'll show you the base setup here and then I'm out again tomorrow and uh, I'll see if I can get some better footage of the actual action then. So let's go see. By the way, I've got the old hat on there because I'm trying to look street. Okay, crack on. Right, so I'm up in the roof of this place now. I've deployed that Freebird Repeater 2 up here. So like a little sort of mezzanine bedroom type thing up here. So I'm right up in the roof. Can't get any higher. So I've deployed that. The construction is, uh, well, I imagine there's uh, not a lot to it. So it doesn't seem to be knocking the signal down too much. And uh, yeah, so that's just powered off of that uh, socket there. Now for more resilience in the case of uh, trying to ensure uptime, etc. And uh, if there was some sort of power outage, then obviously I could run that off a power bank or something like that. But uh, in this case, I'm just running it off that uh, USB outlet on that socket. Right, I'll take you downstairs and show you the companion node and a couple of other things. Okay, everywhere I go ends up a bit of a control room. So uh, a little dining table here and this alcove is what that is. So over there is the companion node. And that is just one of those uh, seed type things, the little cheap uh, one you can get from uh, AliExpress and uh, Pi Hut for about 10 quid. So that's deployed there. Again, just powered off of the socket USB. And that's Freebird Den, so that's sweet ass. So that's that. Uh, again, I could, uh, I've got a solar panel and I've got uh, power banks, so I could run this off grid if I wanted to. But hey ho, anyway, I'll show you a couple of other things here. And uh, like I say, I'm back out again tomorrow for some more uh, exhaustive testing. Okay, apologies for the camera work. But um, there's never much good at the best of times, to be honest. Uh, anyway, let's um, show a few other things. Oh, by the way, the uh, repeater up there, that's a Helltech V3. And that one over there, like I said, is the cheap uh, ESP32 thingy from Seed. It's got the extra E in it, Seed. So that's that. So that's about 10 quid worth of stuff. That's about 17 up there. Now, um, what I'll be doing tomorrow, I've got my uh, Freebird MC3 node there i don't even know what that is in there oh that's um a little go t3s3 in there and that's slightly better because it's got that antenna on it i'll show you the one i've been using today in a moment and what i'll probably do is on route because you sort of go from here which is fairly high up to the top of a hill but then it plateaus out and then you go up some more hills so you lose line of sight completely i might drop off my uh camo sort of um hidden type repeater there just that the antenna just screws into that i can hoik it up in a tree but i'll probably just um shove it in a hedge or something just to try and bridge the uh, the route back and that'll just be me going up there tomorrow missus will be staying back at the cabin so that'd be good to get some messaging back because mobile phone signal down on the coast very pretty well we are on the coast as you drop down the cliffs, you lose mobile phone signal. So it's actually a very good thing. So that's just um, a bit of a setup there. That's uh, been given a, a paint job to uh, obviously make it blend in. In there, something very simple. It's just a, um, I'll show you soon. It's just a battery, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. And um, the Helltech one without the screen i'll annotate it i think it's a wsl or something it's got no screen on it so that's what that is and um yeah i managed to with my other node get a few messages back here today which was pretty impressive i'll go and get that a moment and i'll show you uh, what made it back right so what you're looking at there is my backpack there my little uh light um, pack there now in there is my bog standard Helltech v3 you've seen i use one of these for uh, mesh core and mesh tastic so that's all that is that is the real basic now there's much better things you can take with you 
as far as cases and boxes and stuff for trekking. But so uh, I've been up um, a lot of places with this type of setup. It's just a power bank with a with the thing stuck on top, but um, it just fits nicely in the top of that uh, bag. It's like a little pouch for some sort of MP3 player. It's an old bag. And um, yeah, I managed to get some messages back from that today. And uh, I was pretty impressed, actually, because it certainly uh, wasn't line of sight. So what I've got here, just off screen, I'll uh, put the password in. Okay, so contacts. Where are we contacts? What was I working on today? Freebird MC1. So a message from Freebird MC1 today. Test trig point one test gate one test gate two okay so those are the ones this is the one i've left back here as the one that's attached to the uh, the den node the companion node in the corner here and on my proper phone that's the one that i had connected to this okay so again let's just whack the pin in off camera let's just uh Actually, I don't know if I'll better get it without booting the node up. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, yep, there we are. There's the companion node and the phone together there. That's exactly what I use today. And as you can see, I was DMing Freebird Den. Test trig one, test gate one, test gate two. Trig one, nice and high. Probably line of sight, so no surprise that made it back. About a mile away. Test gate one, I can't think where that was, gate one. Uh, probably somewhere in line of sight because otherwise I would have remembered it. Gate two, now that was interesting because that's nowhere near line of sight. So when it said this type of thing is strictly line of sight, it's not. It does knock your signal down if you haven't got line of sight, but it's not a complete deal breaker, okay? So that was not line of sight and I managed to get the message back and it did it on the first attempt. So there we go. And that's those messages as received from Freebird MC1 which is that one so there we are so anyway better test tomorrow i will endeavor i tried the stuff here with meshtastic last year and i couldn't get messages back apart from the very highest final peak on my trek i've done this trek before that i'm doing tomorrow and i did manage to get a message back from the highest point but the other high points in between i couldn't so if i managed to deploy this repeater then I'm hoping that I can actually get messages back from every peak. I don't think I'll get messages back from every valley, but um, I would like to think that I could get messages back from every peak if I can uh, hopefully find a decent location to uh, hide this one for the uh, for the afternoon. Now I'll either take um, this setup again, most likely, or I will take the slightly improved um, T3 there with the uh, slightly better antenna. And uh, we'll take it from there. So I'll report back tomorrow, guys, and uh, we'll see how we get on. All right, so I'm out on my proper trek today. I'm headed up to those uh, cliffs right up there. It's a bloody long night, actually. But so uh, before, it's getting a bit flaky, apart from a really high one, to get back. I'll mesh tastic at the time, down to the campsite, because there's caravans in the way and some uh, terrain. Perhaps the hill trick we were at yesterday, that was trick one. This would have been gate one, so uh, that was not bad. But there was another gate over there, and we got a message back from there, which is quite impressive. So uh, there we go. Anyway, I can't face into the wind to show you properly because it really is ferocious. I'm probably going to have to use some AI to uh, enhance the audio. It's probably getting wiped out, and I do have the uh, the furry cat thing. What I really call it on top of the microphone, but it really is severe on this uh, coastal location today. Anyway, I'm going to trek on and see if I can get some messages back to uh, back to base. Okay, I'm at the top of uh, the first very steep climb, and it uh, did me in to be honest. I'm uh, not hill walking fit. Let's take a long layoff with uh, a couple of ailments. So it's the first time I've really been out hill walking properly for. Uh, many many months six seven months anyway that side i've lost some weight as well so that's good but um when i'm back in december hopefully i'll be uh, a bit more hill fit and i'll be able to uh, get up down these hills much easier anyway that side i called this hill one and i managed to get some messages back test from hill top one if you can see it missus replies okay 
and a, like an emoji emoticon thing. And he'll one confirmed if you can see it. So that's great. Okay. I'll check in from that next one over there then. Okay. I'm on the uh, next hill now. And uh, this one is actually a bit lower. So this is the one I really don't think you can make it. So the campsite is, the repeater is down over the other side of that first uh, white cliff there. We'll give it a go. So uh, got the message lined up there ready. Hill one confirmed. Now we're on hill two. This is hill two, okay? Let's ping it off. Okay. Let's try it. Sync. Sending. Failure attempt one. Attempt two. Attempt three. It's not happening this one. No surprise, to be honest. I'd love to get a message back from here, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's going to go on to the flood attempt next. Delivered on the flood attempt. Wow, well, let's see if my missus can manage to um, get a message back, but she's going to pop down the shot, so she might not be near the uh, the console down there, the little, little uh, look off that. Anyway, I'll let you know if it does come through, but I've managed to get one back from here. Right, on the way up there now, that's a nasty one. Uh, I'll take an inland route all the way back, which will cut out a lot of these um, ups and downs. Well, I'll have one more to go to collect my uh, repeater. But uh, yeah, certainly no cakewalk, this uh, this coastline. It's nasty. It's every bit as difficult as walking the Brecon Beacons. Every time I go to one of these peaks, it means I've dropped down in between, into the valley between. And so that means I'm dropping down anything between 100 and nearly 200 metres and back up nearly 100, 100 to 200 metres, I should say, each time. So it comes tight. I am really very unfit as far as hill walking is concerned, but uh, thankfully I have lost some weight, which is helping. Hoping to lose a bit more weight, but another stone, but another 10 kilos, that'd be nice. And uh, that will enable me to turn the clock back a bit and keep doing this type of stuff. For a little bit longer so i'm not far off 58 now guys and it's coming tight anyway i'm going to trek on up that one and uh, i'll see if i can ping some messages back from there oh cranky it's windy right i'm up at that navigation beacon now Ugh. as you can perhaps see i'm trying to hunker down behind it it's extremely windy anyway you can just about make out that uh, peak on the other side of the campsite which is my uh, trig one yesterday so uh, i'm going to see now if i can get a message back conditions too bad really to uh, try and record it and do it at the same time so i'm going to just go up to that fence line there give you an extra meter or so and see if i can get some messages back from uh, i think it's Woodby kill actually I'll, I'll actually do this one from uh nav beacon so we can see exactly where i was when i get back to uh, base okay folks great news and look at that from here navigation beacon that i've got test oh it's so windy test from nav beacon mrs replied test for some reason and okay and then i've replied great down the bottom there it's so windy you can't believe but um that is some amazing comms back to base there down over uh, about three hills back so uh it's got to be going through my repeater i'll check uh, routes when i get back so um yeah that is really good useful comms guys and uh Okay, I might not uh, hit the wider mesh from here, but this is doing what I want it to do, and that's provide uh, back to base comms when I'm uh, out of mobile phone signal or when the signal goes down. So, uh, great news. Anyway, this is uh, my lad's book, Run Port of Crawl. I'm going to go up now to some uh, ex uh, Coast Guard cottages, and then uh, that'll be uh, the last test. Then I'll rip back down through an inland route, uh, pick up the repeater, and get back to base. Oh my god, it's windy. Okay, last port call, guys. I'm up by some uh, old Coast Guard cottages and um, I'd managed to get some messages back and even a little bit of uh, convo going back there to base. So that is great, absolutely fantastic. Now, there's a, a World War II look at it there, but in a bit. It used to be um, a flag position, probably Admiralty lookout as well, but uh, 
Yeah, there's some good some locations for a Peter, so if you're down in Dorset. Anyway, I'll run, step back and show you the scene. It's so windy, there won't be any audio. So uh, that's it then. And I'm going to head inland, collect the Peter, and get back to base with some grass. Okay, I'm back, as you can see, so there's a repeater I retrieved from the bush and there's still a little bit of charge left in MC1 there, which is not bad because I've um, used that over two days now. Okay, so uh, that's where we were yesterday on the 10th of November. And let's go to the 11th of November. So the first bit is just um, testing and uh, positioning the repeater. And... Let's scroll up to test room hilltop one there, okay? You see that? And there's the acknowledgements coming back there. Hill one confirmed. Test from hilltop two. Okay. Test two from hilltop two. The okay came back test and then we had the navigation beacon you see that that was very impressive so the okay came through there and uh, there's the great came through not everything came through I'd be a liar to say it uh, it did but uh, the vast majority of the tests did the most impressive one of the lot test from the cottages up there very good indeed, and there's the OK. And then it was uh, proper sort of um, communications to get uh, me back home safely, or to say the route I was going, etc. It's the last stop, heading back soon. Could be about two hours that came through, and that didn't go for there, look, but the OK did. And then I said, uh, walking back now, easy way, because I took the inland route on the way back. I can see the campsite now. Uh, it did say failed, therefore, but it did come through. I did do a test from a valley. I didn't expect that to work, and it didn't. And then I got to the top of the uh, next hill, pretty much where the router, the repeater is, I should say, was. And that said, back in 10 minutes, and there was the last OK. So, um, yeah, and to make it even more impressive, when I uh, retrieved this, it had blown almost flat. So we're talking vertical antennas, talking to an antenna that was virtually flat. So uh, that is actually very impressive indeed. So I would say the off-grid messaging, in this case MeshCore, was uh, really very good for uh, comms along this coast, where mobile phone signal along this coast is actually really very flaky. Anyway, that's it for this video. I will catch you on the next one and I will wish you all the best. Cheers, everyone.